In this video, we're gonna show you the different teardrop campers made by New Camp RV, a Pleasant Valley trailer company. So this is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Beckley's Camping Center in Thurmont, Maryland. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Little subscribe button down below there. If you're uh, back watching another one of my videos, I do appreciate you coming. Uh, coming back and watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the new camp. Starting with their smallest of their trailers or teardrops I should say and that is going to be the tag se so let's get started so starting with a little tag se this is going to be the five wide and by the way I'll have all the specs and pricing down below now with these you can get the off-road package which as you can see will look like this you get the you know the bigger tire you get the metal for your wheel um, wheel cover there or you can go ahead and get the smaller tire and get this normal size as far as height and so forth if you wish to now with this five wide what you're going to get is you're going to get this bed is going to be 73 inches in length and width wise here you're going to be about 59 58 inches or so wide from side to side these that is two mattresses it'll fold out to be one complete one across if you wish this is what it's going to look like in the back. You're going to notice you do not have a kitchen, but it does open up. You do have a light back here. A lot of people bring outside cooking th uh, equipment and so forth, so you can set that up back here. This is a more basic unit. Now, looking inside here, you're going to notice you have a little bit of storage area up in the front there. So that's going to be there plus on top. Now, the next thing you're going to notice is you have no storage down below the mattress. But as you can see, you do have an air conditioner. You're going to have a 110 outlet and 12 volt outlet. Now, in the Tag SE XL, your bed is going to be widthwise 70 inches, and it's still going to be 73 inches in length. And again, you're still going to have your windows the same, power vent fan, your outlets as well as your air conditioner. So when you're looking at your, this is the Tag Max. This would be your regular uh, Tag. They would consider it a five wide. And the length is about 75 and a half inches for the length of the bed. So a little bit longer than the regular Tag SEs. Notice you're gonna have this uh, stargazing window up in the front. You'll have windows on the other side. You're going to have your AC, TV, and then of course the stereo, that's an AM, FM, CD, stereo, DVD player, Bluetooth, all wrapped in one. Now if you hit the standard tag, what you're going to have is this, you're going to have the color of your bottle cover, bottle battery cover, is going to be the same color uh, that you have for your trim pieces. So you see this one's silver. You're gonna have your battery under here, your 12, 20 pound uh, bottle, LP bottle, and then of course a battery disconnect. Benefit of that battery disconnect is that you can uh, cut that off when not in use so you don't drain your battery. On the driver's side, this is where you're gonna have like an outside sprayer port. Because you don't have a water heater, but so you do have a sprayer port, you rinse things off. This will be your 110 connection. This is also gonna be your cable connection. Now I know I, I always call this a 110 connection and I know people tell me it's 120, but you'll notice what it tells you right there. This connection is for 110 slash 125 volt, 60 hertz, and it's 30 amps. It's a 30 amp service. So just uh, keep that in mind. If you're having an electrician give you a 30 amp plug at the house, be sure that it is a 110 outlet, not 220, 240. Back behind this door, this is where you're going to have your water, city water connection as well as your water tank fill. And the fresh water tank is actually going to be right under your sink in here. So you'll be able to actually see that when it's full. In reality, it'll be falling back out through there so you'll know that it is actually full. 
Now on the five wide, what you're gonna notice back here, this is your kitchen area. You're gonna have stereo speakers back here, 110 outlets, and also 12 volt USB connections back here for those of you that like to boondock. Nice light for yourself. The Yeti cooler on a pullout. And the three two burner cooktop. You see your racks for hanging hang things and spices and so forth. Water pump switch. And then it, as you saw earlier, you have the storage down below your sink. Good storage. Now when you step up to the regular Tag Max versus the Tag SE, you're also gonna have storage underneath your beds. So you see they built it up, give you a little bit more storage capabilities. Now as you can see, they come in different uh, colors that you can get, and there's a lot of different colors you can get. By all means, feel free to reach out to me, be more than happy to go over that with you. Um, the only difference you're gonna have when you go to the Tag Max XL is this bed is gonna be 70 inches wide instead of 58. Everything else is gonna be identical in here. As you can see, what do you guys think about the new wood color? You liking it? Now the other difference you're going to notice on a Tag Max XL is the fact that this one you're going to see the microwave. So when you see a microwave in the back, understand that that's the wider version of your Tag. Otherwise that is still going to have a two burner cooktop sink. It has a Yeti Tundra cooler. You still have outlets, but notice how they gave you a little bit different shelf here. Still have your outside stereo speakers, the sink, and then your storage under your cabinet just is a little bit less, not much. Get that cutting board out of the way there, but you can see, again, good access to your water pump. Now, let's say you say, Paul, you know what? I don't like the clearance of that. I need to have, a, I need to have higher clearance. Not a problem. You can get what we call a boondock light series. And as you can see, that's gonna put a bigger bigger tire on there. It's gonna have a, a little raised type axle, so it's gonna give you better crown clearance. And I guess more importantly for some people is it gives you this ruggedness for this front um, storage center. You can put your uh, generator up here if you wanted to. You can tie some wood down up here, coolers. Just be careful depending on what tow vehicle you're getting because that could overload your tow vehicle so just be, be uh, conscious of that so with the boondock light series besides the tires the axle there so giving you a little more ground clearance in that front storage area you're also going to get this boondock handle make it a little bit easier for you when you're getting in you can also use that to pull it around if you wanted to other than that inside outside everything else is going to be identical to your standard tags as you see over here that we just went over. Now, last but not least, you have the, ta uh, the tag boondock edge. Now, with the boondock edge, you, it's same axle and tires that you had on the regular boondock light. Same thing for your box up front. Uh, the only difference, and it, same thing as far as a handle there, but here's the other differences you're gonna get. Now something else on the Boondock Edge series versus the light, you have this big light that's up in the back here. And you can see that's LED lights, that is bright. You can adjust it, you can just loosen this with an Allen wrench and then you could rotate that light. Either you can have it on your kitchen here or you can have it to the back or straight down for that matter. Now just like the Boondock Light series, you're gonna have that big handle, the Boondock handle as you're going in, but next what they're gonna give you, they're gonna give you a step to get in, and you can see then they have little netting, cargo netting here on the doors. So those are the differences on the, this is the Tag Boondock Edge series. Now, for those of you who want to kind of see the difference in ground clearance, I have a tag, standard tag, and a, this is a boondock edge here. I'm just going to come up and kind of give you an idea of the ground clearance that you have.